is 4.48 a.m. I'm in Barbados. I'm on my way to my sister's funeral in St. Vincent. I'm in transit in Barbados. This is my flight number. 771. St. Vincent, 9.45 a.m. Six o'clock and the, the airport is gradually coming alive. The restaurant Chaffet is open. Finally, I'm on my way to St. Vincent. It's a long night sleeping on the bench. Ah, uh, my, my first morning in St. Vincent. I'm here for my sister's funeral. I just woke up. You wake up. This Pauls would wake you up in the morning. Those are the transportation that we use in St. Vincent. It's really good to be back. Back here, um, even though it's a sad moment for us, it's really good to be back here. Sister, we're gonna meet her in the rapture, hallelujah. And Father and God, I just want to thank you at this time for the life of my sister and my friend. Oh, where our sister has gone. Father, bless us and be with us in Jesus' name. Justly displeased, thou knowest, Lord, the secret of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful air to our prayer, but spare us, Lord most holy. God. It's rained every day since I came to St. Vincent. Every day. My whole purpose of being here was to bury my sister and that was done October the 27th. Today is 38 years 
since St. Vincent became independent from Great Britain. So I am leaving to go to the independence ceremony. And from the independence ceremony, I leave to the Prime Minister's residence. Yes, the Prime Minister's residence. I remember in 1979, I attended the first celebration right here. The school that I attended was a few blocks up. I remember it vividly. A little boy in my short pants. <laughs> oh, man. But it's, it's really good to be back in St. Vincent to see this. Really, really good. It's a nice feel. That's what patriotism is all about. So the Prime Minister is just arriving. Dr. Ralph Gonsalves. That's the Assistant Commissioner of Police, my very good friend. The white and blue. And now is the arrival of the Governor General. And we're going to we order you from Japan, it takes six months to come here. Is that your order? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, we're going to order you from the company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The national anthem is being played right now. Everyone is standing. Another tension. That's how we take our anthem seriously. So the ceremony is finished at the park on our way to the Prime Minister's residence for a cocktail party. So we, I am at the Prime Minister's residence and I don't really know how much I can record from here but we are here. People are just coming in. The ceremony has just finished, the independence ceremony. So I'm still at the Prime Minister's residence. We're just mingling a little bit. All right. A few members of the police band. So I'm heading to I'm heading to the city. Just waiting to catch the bus. See that's the band. Uh, that is what I'm gonna be taking to go to the city. See? See? Bad man thing? Yeah, right? <laughs> heading to Kingston. Right. One of the oldest cars in St. Vincent. I think this is a Morris. See? Morris. It's a nice car. Where you make your bed. This is where you should sleep in Barbados and the Adams International Airport en route to GFK. My flight should have been 3.30 a.m. My flight is delayed to 5.30 a.m. So I'm outside of the airport in Barbados 
myself and three others. It is now 12.45 a.m. There is nothing to do in Barbados at 12.45 a.m. at the airport. So we don't have a choice but to use these benches and tables for our beds. I'll be making up my bed right here. This is going to be my bed. Probably use my camera bag. That's a good pillow. That blanket. And I'm going to lay right there until it's time for me to board when JetBlue is open. Time to go to sleep.